Wanted to show an update to the aquaponics system at the James Project of Latin America. This is a water deposit that typically sits on top of roofs for holding water um, for use. And um, I took it and turned it upside down, put a cone on the bottom. And that cone is a galvanized sheet metal. That right there was a bit of a task, but um, thankful for good friends that helped me out with that. And, and then this base, I had a friend help me with that, and that was just awesome as well. The swirl filter, just in short if you don't know, it catches the solids from the fish poop. Pulls solids, or allows solids to fall out of the water. Um, the bigger the swirl filter, the more um, solids potentially you can catch. Rule of thumb is you want the water to be in the swirl filter for 20 minutes. And so, um, previously I had a 55 gallon barrel like this one that was my swirl filter for this large fish tank, 800 gallons, and um, it was just not doing it. Too many solids were going by. So this right here is almost 300 gallons, it's in liters. 1100 liters, which is 290 gallons. And um, so the way it works is I've got the water entering right here. If you wonder why the water is like a apple juice color, it's because of the molasses I use in the mineralizing. The water enters in right here through a two inch pipe. I've got it tapered down a bit um, to create a bit more of a jet action to get the swirl going because I my goal is to get the solids to drop down to the uh, middle of the tank. And they are kind of catching on the sides a little bit, but um, that's okay. Uh, this right here, I, I'm gonna come over here. This right here is the output, so the solids fall, and then the clean water leaves through the top, and um, that's an elbow cut down. I turned it sideways, it seems to work a little bit better sideways if it's if it's flat, then um, I, it's kind of catching air and bubbling and um, slowing down the flow a little bit, so I've got it where I like it. Uh, and then the water, you know, leaves the swirl filter into the grow bed and goes from the the media bed, I should say, into the um, deep water culture beds. And um, you gotta enter it in like this. I didn't like it splashing all over the rock because the rock was growing algae, so I, I set that up. I actually did an elbow here first, and I was finding that it was actually um, siphoning a bit, because I had, I had this on the bottom of the elbow, and that kind of messed up the flow. This seems to work pretty good. So it's not splashing all over the bottom. There's plenty of air that can go through. But, um, so the solids, they fall. Solids fall to the bottom here. And I can pull the solids out off the bottom. Runs through the ground and up through here. It's in through here. This is the mineralizing tank and uh, that's where the, the poopy water is. and. I take a bit of the molasses I've showed in previous videos, put the molasses in here and let her bubble for a day or two and uh, let the solids fall, turn the air off, let the solids fall, and then drop that nutrients into the system. Um, and the reason you do that is because if you just take the solids off um, and not use them, well, we're getting a lot more nutrients out of the solids by allowing them to break down further and then put them in, putting them into the system. So the system's going well. We've got um, basil here. That's been a dill experiment. This is mint, two different kinds. They call it yerba buena. This is yerba buena mint, menta. This is yerba buena, oh, I, I really don't know how they pronounce that one. But the cooks like it and they use it. There's some more basil. This is um, romaine lettuce, which is beautiful. That guy's ready to pick that there. Beautiful romaine lettuces and got them staggered down as uh, as, as the weeks go. I, I give them about 18 heads of lettuce a week. I was doing 36 with way too much and um, I was giving, you know, more than halfway. So they, they uh, I, I brought it down to 18, but the lettuce is doing great. That's, that's the primary 
output of the system what they want. So anyway, to wrap things up full circle, that is the um, to wrap things up full circle. New swirl filter addition uh, to the aquaponic system. It's phenomenal. The water is actually able to sit in there well over 20 minutes. And um, according to my flow rate, I, I would only need a 200 gallon tank to get it in there 20 minutes. And I did have a 50, so that, that tells you something. But uh, this is pushing 300, so it's plenty of time for those solids to fall. That's it.